So something that I really wanted to talk about for a bit is how people end up saying certain things to you when you're sick and they think that they're helping. Now, I understand that people on the outside of the situation want to help fix things. The reality of being chronically ill is that there is no fix. There's no cure for an incurable disease. There's no cure for a genetic illness that is caused by a gene mutation, like Ehlers-Danlos, as an example. You end up with a condition that causes you to lack the connective tissue, which is the glue that holds you together. So in that regard, there is no fix. There may be preventative measures from helping to prevent dislocations from getting worse or supportive things like KT tape or bracing or physiotherapy or different kinds of things like prolotherapy, which can give you like better joint life, but is hella expensive and I can't do it because I can't afford it. Because a lot of these things are reserved for the wealthy. And so if that is if that is as an example, just Ehlers Downlow syndrome, something that cannot be cured, cannot be fixed. And people come into your life and then they meet you and they're like, oh, I've never heard of this disease. Have you tried yoga? It's kind of like, OK, first of all, you don't understand what Ehlers Downlow is if you're suggesting that. And secondly, why do people feel the need to offer some sort of advice to people who are chronically ill to make it seem like you don't know what you're living with and you don't know what it does to your body? So here, let me tell you something that actually going to cause you more harm than it is good. It's actually going to cause you to dislocate more potentially. And who knows? Maybe there are people out there that have Ehlers Danlos syndrome who can do things like yoga and come out better. But in my experience, being someone who is extremely hypermobile, I am 37. I do not stretch at all um, because I can still do the splits and I haven't I don't do them often. So the fact that I can do that, I can do a lot of party tricks, which I won't do because that's not good for my body. So like bending my my thumb down to here as an example and having it flush with my wrist. I am very, very flexible and it's not a good thing. It's actually a bad thing because it pulls my joints out more. So I had to give up stuff because of that. Now, something that I found to be helpful was swimming, but I can't do that right now because I'm too reactive to the world outside my door. If I can get back to the place where I can swim again, I will be immensely grateful because I found that it helped my joints for ehlers Zelnos. It helped my postural orthostatic tachycardia because the water in a pool is like a compression sock around your entire body, which is immensely amazing and can help you to feel better. Just got to get out of the water slow when you get out. And then with the mass cell activation, you know, at the time I wasn't reacting to the chlorine because I was on a med called Zolaire. So if we look at all those diseases as an example, and people just tell me to exercise more, or they tell me to eat better, or they tell me to do certain kinds of things that are fads essentially online of things that people have done and they rant and rave about it actually being helpful, it's detrimental to someone's psyche because when we start offering all of this advice about trying things for a disease we know nothing about we're actually doing harm and being semi dismissive of that person's experience so when i've had people suggest to me eat the carnivore diet like i had someone say that in my chat i understand where you're coming from but certain meats will cause more inflammation for me because they're high in histamine like fish so Fish is really good for a lot of people, but it's really high in histamine. And any time that I've had fish, which I haven't had fish in like six years, any time that I had fish, I would vomit and get a crushing migraine where it felt like my head was drying out inside, like my brain was devoid of all moisture. And it hurt that bad that it felt like everything was being sucked out of my brain. So I don't eat fish. So I understand where people are coming from with the trying to help, but it's not helpful. It's not. If someone asks you for your advice on a situation, then go ahead. But just meeting someone and offering up all of these things because it works for someone you know, 
and they don't have the same disease, it's kind of not okay because you're generalizing. And even if someone did have a similar disease to me or illness and someone was like, oh, this really worked for them. Okay, well, that's great. But here's the thing. Not everyone is going to have the same response to everything. So another example, I have complex, complex post-traumatic stress disorder and I cannot take SSRIs. Now, SSRIs help many people that have complex post-traumatic stress disorder, but I can't take them because whenever I take them, my head goes to a really dark place, a dark place that I don't want to be, or I end up with facial swelling, tongue swelling, other symptoms that are anaphylactic responses, and I can't take them. And I've tried, I've tried many because I was like, I hope these help. And I have talked to people who have PTSD who have said that medications help them, but I'm allergic to them, so I can't take them. So that in itself is an example. Therapy is something that I think is amazing. And I believe that if everyone went to therapy, there'd be a lot less angry people in the world and a lot more understanding people and a lot better relationships, in my opinion, because Instead of being angry when someone talks to us about something, we can actually get introspective and see things from potentially their point of view. And that can also help us have a better conversation instead of two people just yelling at each other for some stupid reason. When really, if someone's expressing their feelings, the other person should listen and vice versa, which is a logical way of thinking in my opinion. And it makes sense to me. So when I've tried to talk to people about certain things and then get yelled at, it's very, confusing to me like why is this happening what did what happened here like i don't think people are inherently trying to be just mean or are bad people they have their own unresolved things that they need to deal with and thus i think therapy is very helpful for that but that's also because i've seen how much therapy has helped me to be able to articulate to be able to communicate to be able to talk about what i'm feeling to be able to explain my diseases because I feel like some of us are so repressed emotionally that we can't open our mouths to have a conversation. We just shut down and don't talk about anything. And I don't think that that's a good thing for any of us. So I approve of therapy and I love psychology. So there you go. There you have it. That's also a thing. But when it comes to comparing people to other people as well, people who have the same illness, no two people that have the same illness are going to be the same. They're not going to have the same experience. They may not even have the same symptoms. Someone could have one form of Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome and have absolutely no symptoms or little symptoms of what's going on in their body. And then you could have the other end of the spectrum where someone is severely affected and dislocating every day and their organs are having issues and they're tissue underneath their skin is ripping or their skin is ripping off like there's a big a big um what's it i can't think of the word it's like a graph right like there's so many people that have have a lot of symptoms some people that have minimal symptoms and some people that have moderate symptoms and some are extremely severe. So it's like that with everything, with every disease that's out there. So when I've talked to people that are like, I know someone that has what you have and, you know, or at least one of the things that you have and they're able to work a government job and, you know, they can have children. Well, I can't do those things. I can't have children and I can't go and work in an office building. Like there's a lot of things that limit me, but that doesn't mean I'm a lesser person because of it. It just means I have limitations and the world is quite ableist and it needs to change to be more inclusive of people like us and stop looking at people that have challenges and difficulties with their health as lesser beings. If anything, we learn a lot more by being sick because we get to see this side of society that is very ableist towards people like us. Like I didn't really know what ableism was before I got sick. And that's why I end up talking about it on stream because I didn't know it was a thing. And I had friends when I was younger who had disabilities and I had friends who had cancer. I lost someone who had cancer in grade one, one of my friends. There's 
to me, it's just never been one of those things, like look at someone as they are lesser than. So when I found out what ableism was, I was like, well, that's something that I've always tried to not do. I've tried to be understanding of what other people are and are, are facing, excuse me, and their experience with the world. Like there's just so much judgment, I think, that's so toxic towards so many people. Judgment of their situation, judgment of their disease, judgment of what they can or cannot do, you know? So, yeah, there's just a lot. There's a lot there. There's a lot in this video. I've covered a couple topics, so yeah, there's that. But I should probably head off. I do gotta get to school and buy school. I mean, I gotta hit the stop button on the record and load up my class online, so. Hope that everyone has a wonderful day. Thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching my video. <clears throat> Excuse me, if you haven't done so, please feel free to like, subscribe and stuff and thank you to the new subscribers and thank you so much for being here and being supportive of my content it means so much to me i started this channel like way back uh maybe in 2017 maybe and i did have like a plethora of videos older videos of me talking about various things uh the quality wasn't so good i know more now about quality than i did then but my mission remains the same. I want to help people. So, yeah. Take care. See you soon. Bye.